I'd like to tell MedStar leaders and associates um, Michael's story so that this does not happen to other families. Michael was our heart. He was 22. He had just started nursing school, and he loved the medical field. Just a wonderful guy. He was the type of child when he was in school that if there was a bully bullying somebody, even if he didn't know who the child was, he would make that go away. Um, just cared about people. He was always very compassionate, and he took care of, of others. He called us one day when he got back from school and said he had passed out. So we came home and we got him and we took him to the ER. And we told him what happened. He was taking Wellbutrin to quit smoking and that one of the side effects is passing out. So they did a spinal tap and it was inconclusive. But then they did a CT and they found at the CT a, a small dot in the third ventricle of Michael's brain and they said not to worry about it. It was probably a colloid cyst that you were born with. His wasn't doing anything, but they were concerned that maybe he had a seizure disorder. So the next day, I called this neurosurgeon, and the next thing I know, the doctor was on the phone, which probably should have been a red flag to me. And he said, he needs to be in the hospital for observation. You are so lucky he didn't die. And I said, excuse me. And he said, colloid cysts are, are terrible. The doctor that discovered them died from one himself. And he said, we'll call you, let you know what hospital to go to, which they did. And it was all happening very quickly. Not even enough time to, to kind of think this through. Get to the hospital, have another CT, go up to the floor. And the doctor comes in a couple of hours later, introduces himself, tells us where he's from, and holds up the, the, the CT, shows it to David and I, and says he needs to, you know, he has ventricles are enlarged, there's fluid there, it's, it's blocking. He needs to have a drain put in right away to reduce the pressure in his brain, and then he's gonna have to have surgery within 48 hours, brain surgery. But the way he explained it to us was very, um, was no big deal. He'll be out of the hospital in six days. It's not a big deal. This guy's done hundreds of these. Michael went into surgery for his three and a half hour surgery and six and a half hours later, the doctor came in and he kneeled down on one knee and he pushed his hat back and he said, this has been the worst year of my life. And we said, How's Michael? And he said, well, I went in and I didn't find the cyst, but I did heavy manipulation of the brain. So we spent five months in ICU. Michael was 50% blind. He was hemiplegic. He um, had no short-term memory. He had severe seizure disorder. He had the thalamic pain syndrome and he was psychotic, and we didn't know all that for so long. We never knew that in the ICU for the first five months. He had a grand mal seizure, and he aspirated. I was in Atlanta. I got a message. I got off the plane, said, come home. I didn't even call. I knew. And I got home, and his temperature was 80, and David was saying, just hang on for mom. Just hang on for mom. He did. He did. family should have to go through this. No parent should have their child die before them, especially when there was no reason. There was somebody who decided that he was competent to do this operation of so many he told us he did. In the end, we found out he had only done one. The culture of a hospital should be open, transparent, 
truly care. I would like MedStar leaders to know that I'm very appreciative of what they are doing. The MedStar Patient Family Advisory Safety and Quality Council is um, a group of very passionate people from across the country. I'm honored to be on the Advisory Council. Um, I'm honored to be working with MedStar. They're taking those steps and they're saying we're doing it because it's the right thing to do. And I know I could not ask for anything else. The reason I, I do it is the promise that I made to Michael that I would certainly leave the medical field better than, than he found it.